This screencast demonstrates rename refactoring, type hierarchy view, and other editor improvements in NetBeans IDE 7.0. Part 1 Renaming Elements Using Rename Refactoring and Instant Rename the ability to rename elements is one of the most useful forms of code refactoring. NetBeans IDE for PHP lets you rename a type, type member, function, or constant. Users have been able to rename elements within the same file since NetBeans 6.5. The new Rename Refactoring feature enables users to rename elements across all files in a project. I'm using the open source MediaWiki project to demonstrate renaming. First, I'm showing you the old local renaming function called Instant Rename. Select the element name and press Ctrl R. All occurrences of the name in the file are selected. Begin typing. The occurrences of the name all change together. Here I scroll, scroll down so you can see it in the rest of the file. This is a fast and easy way to rename an element within a file, which is why we call this feature Instant Rename. Instant Rename has two limitations. First, it's limited in scope to the file open in the editor. Second, it's not very safe. There is no chance to review or confirm your changes. This may not be an important limitation because it is easy enough to rename an element again. Rename refactoring has neither of these limitations. Its scope includes all files in a project. And it has a review dialog in which you can select which occurrences of the name to change and confirm or cancel the change. Here I am selecting the class name, which I cannot change with Instant Rename, and pressing Ctrl R. A dialog opens in which I can type the new name. I type in the name and click Preview. Note that I cannot refactor the name until I have previewed my changes. I click Preview, and a window opens in the output area. Here I can review and confirm my changes. I can click one button and expand all nodes in the tree. I can also switch between physical and logical views. When I select an occurrence, a preview window opens where I can compare that line of code before and after refactoring. I can select whether or not to refactor that specific line by selecting or unselecting it. Here I unselect it and you see the change in the preview window. I select it again and the preview changes again. There are a couple of arrow buttons for navigating between occurrences. There's also a refresh button for regenerating the preview. When you are done, you can perform the refactoring or cancel it. Instead of pressing Control R, you can select Rename Refactoring from the context menu. Here I select a local element and right-click, and then select Refactor Rename from the context menu. The Refactor Rename dialog opens. This is slower than using Instant Rename, but it has the safety of the preview window. While I've got the MediaWiki project open, let me show you the new Type Hierarchy view. In object-oriented code, this feature lets you view a tree of a class's subclasses or superclasses. Here I have API-based PHP open. To view the class's type hierarchy, 
I right click in the editor and select Navigate PHP Type Hierarchy. The type hierarchy opens in the navigator. It's open in the supertype view, which is empty. I press the button for the subtypes view, and I see all the classes that inherit API based PHP. If API based PHP were an interface, I would see all the classes that implement it. Now I double click API Format Base in the hierarchy view, and it opens in both the editor and the navigator. Now I switch back to the supertypes view, and I see the API Base PHP class that API Format Base inherits from. And of course, if I click on API Base, I open that class again in the editor. NetBeans IDE for PHP 7.0 also introduces line wrapping. By default, you can type a line as long as you want in NetBeans IDE. However, with NetBeans IDE 7.0, you can also wrap lines instead. To enable line wrapping, go to Tools Options, that's NetBeans Preferences on Mac, select the Editor Options, and select the Formatting tab. In the Formatting tab, you can turn line wrapping on for afterwards, or you can set line wrapping anywhere. Here we select Afterwards, and you see that the lines wrap after ends of words. To turn line wrapping back off, we just reverse the procedure. The last new feature is showing non-printable characters. The IDE can display non-printable characters. Go to the View menu and select Show Non-Printable Characters. Here you see the non-printable characters are displayed. Go back to View, unselect Show Non-Printable Characters, and they disappear. Thank you for taking the time to watch this screencast. For more information about NetBeans IDE for PHP, please see our website, http double slash netbeans.org slash kb slash trails slash php dot html, or the NetBeans PHP team blog, http double slash blogs dot sun dot com forward slash NetBeans PHP. You can also ask for help at the forum, http double slash forums.netbeans.org forward slash php hyphen users dot html.